Hi guys, Kyung here, and today we're going to make train journal cards. Dum -da -dum. Um, so first of all, um, so I printed these out. These came from the uh, that kit I was telling you about from Far Mirage, and I'll have a link to that um, down below. But I loved the like train pictures, and they're mostly just um, cards and then different sizes. So there's like full half pages, and then they're broken down all the way up into little um, cards. So I printed some of these out. And then Georgia on um, Georgia Martin on my Facebook wall um, sent me a photo of a beautiful photo of some train tracks that had like it was all kind of crunched up. It had leaves and reminded me of autumn, and but it was copyrighted. And I'm not 100%. I looked into it and I couldn't find any information about it. Um, I'm gonna message her and make sure you know that it's all okay to use because um, she was talking about her son. Um, like was going through these photos so I don't know if her son took them or if there's something that they just found but to be safe and um, in the inspiration of everything I loved the idea of train tracks so I found a bunch and I took them and I put them into Photoshop and I um, digitized them I you know I enhanced them and colored them and changed changed things um, distressed them and made them look pretty and so we'll use those for uh, some journaling cards and then um, some background stuff. So this was sent to me by Julie and I want to use some of it and we're going to use some craft card as well. So this is just going to be my base. Um, I may use some of this. So yesterday I was watching uh, Miss Paint-A-Lot's uh, roller prompt and she had to do a pink industrial, like pink or coral industrial pocket and uh, she stamped on this tea paper and I can't find tea paper anywhere in the US. It's like you cannot, I can find, I can get it for like $35, but that's a little more money than I'm willing to pay. But um, I had all this rice paper and I thought, you know, it's similar. I bet it will work. So I just took out a piece of rice paper and I stamped it. And so I have this much left over. And so I thought I might use some of that. Um, and then I have this, right, which is this Tim Holtz uh, collage paper roll. And I thought it would be fun to look and see the difference of how it'll do um, the two. And then these Tim Holtz uh, rubber, like, letters and numbers. And that's what we're going to use today. And I don't know why I'm showing you all of it. Normally, I don't ever do that. I just get right into the crafting, huh? Let's just get right in. <laughs> so this is, what, eight and a half? It's short of eight and a half that's weird um okay well we're just gonna cut it at a four and a quarter anyway right and then uh half of 11 well this isn't even 11 look at that well let's cut it down to 10 since there it's not eight and a half by 11 it's like 10 and it's almost 11 So what is that, five and a half? Five and a half plus five and a half should equal 11. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, so there is my base, my base cards. Get this like, plastic rubber stuff from the, from the pad off of my paper. You're not welcome. Throw these away. All right, so here's my cards. Uh, let's just do one at a time. So first things first is I want to rip and use some of this. So let's just bits. Um, I'm going to rip a piece of this. Now, I don't know what kind of paper this is. Julie sent it to me. I ordered some things from her shop, and she sent this to me, and I keep forgetting to go look. What is wet? Why is that wet? I like cleaned off my table earlier. I bet that's what that's from. I was like, I should clean my table and scrub it before I record. So that's probably what that is. Water. My spray bottle. My little spray bottle. Okay, we'll stick that over there. Um, yeah, I'd love to use some of this. Right. Let's put a piece here and maybe a piece down here like that. 
and let's use my glue stick. Let's see, where's my book? Let's grab a new page. Okay, so speaking of Miss P, so during the live, I think it was either last week or the week before, I cannot remember, we were all talking about movies. We got to talking about movies in the live. And everyone, you know, was listing off a lot of like the old classic movies they loved. And um, one of the ones that Miss P listed off was Love Story. And I'd never seen that. I've never seen Love Story. So I thought, well, I'll watch it. So I did. I watched it yesterday. <laughs> I watched it yesterday evening. And um, it was good. I really liked it. Uh, I love a good tearjerker. My sister watched it with me and she was bawling. She was just bawling through like the last, I don't know, 15 minutes, half hour of the movie. She just, <laughs> she was just crying. It was great. And yeah, we really enjoyed it. So, um, and then what someone else mentioned Shutter Island because you know, I like, uh, I really like thrillers. Like I like thriller movies and I've been on this thriller kick lately. Um, so someone had mentioned Shutter Island. And so I watched that and uh, I thought I had seen it before. Like I was convinced I'd seen it before, but I tell you, I see, I evidently I get it confused with the beach, you know, cause they're both Leonardo DiCaprio movies. They're both, um, I don't know why that doesn't want to rip. <laughs> They're both Leonardo DiCaprio movies. They're both, what, like, take place in, I don't know, on an island, I guess. Um, so I had thought I had seen it, which is why I've never seen it, because I thought I had seen it, because I got it confused with the beach. Um, but I was like watching a trailer or so I was like watching trailers and it came up right Shutter Island and I, w I saw the trailer and I was like I've never seen this before I have never seen this before <laughs> so I watched it and I loved it it was great though I will say I don't understand why people um, are confused about the ending because the ending seems pretty spelled out to me like it wasn't ambiguous at all so I don't know what everyone is going on about that all online. Everyone's going on about how ambiguous it is or something. Mm, not really. Um, so there's the Tim Holtz paper, right? The collage paper. Um, and we didn't, you know, we're not using a collage medium or anything. I'm just using uh, the glue stick. And this is all, this is all inspired by Miss Paint a lot, right? She does the glue stick and the like little bits of background behind her uh, like journal cards and stuff. So this is kind of just inspired by that. Let's rip some of this rice paper and see how it does. I think it collages better than like Tim Holtz's stuff, the um, rice paper, because it's rice paper. It does really well, if I remember correctly. Yeah, look at that. I really like that. I think that looks much better than the... The Tim Holtz collage paper has a bit of a shine to it too, right? Whereas the rice paper doesn't really have that. The rice paper is pretty matte. Um, let's tear out this little... We have like tickets and stuff too, and we have stamps. My stamps, so we are gonna do a little bit of stamping. Um, we're going to attempt to anyway. Let's put this number up here in this corner. So, yep. But, um, one of, one of the movies that I had mentioned was, uh, Paint Your Wagon. I love Paint Your Wagon. And it's been years, actually, since I've seen that. I'm going to rewatch it, especially since I'm doing this train journal. I think it will match, I don't know, it'll just match the whole feeling and theme perfectly. Um, yeah, we, we grew up on that movie. We loved that movie as kids. It was just great. And, uh, who doesn't want to see, you know, Clint Eastwood sing, you know, I talk to the trees. <laughs> and then I was talking to my sister and she was, uh, 
She was like, yeah, who is that other main guy that's in now? Who is that? Lee Marvin, she said. And she was like, how do I know that? <laughs> how would I know that? Like, that's so weird. And uh, we, I was like, you have to look it up now, right, to see if you're right, if that's the name of the, of the guy. And she, yeah, it is. It was the name of the guy, Lee Marvin. Silver screen actor. He's a 50s actor. <laughs> um, he is excellent in it. But, um, yeah, he was in movies, like, in the 1950s. And so, and Paint Your Wagon is, like, in 1969. It was done in 1969. So, I think we'll use the Black Distress this time. So, yeah, I'm going to rewatch that. Me and her will probably watch that later later today actually that sounds like fun if I can find it it's kind of hard to find um, but worth it I recommend it it's funny it's everything it's great okay let's just stamp these numbers on here four and a nine forty nine okay so let's grab my spray bottle wash off our stamp. Where did my towel go? I'm always losing Mr. Towel. Come here, Mr. Towel. Oh, look at how easy Tim Holtz stamps clean. I love, I do love Tim Holtz stamps. I think that of all the stamps I've ever gotten, Tim Holtz stamps are the, are the best, like are the best quality for sure. Um, although I haven't bought a lot of really high quality stamps either. I couldn't say, you know, Okay, so there is our first little card. Let's make sure that's dry before we go putting our paper on there. Um, let's use one of these, I'm thinking. Right? Isn't that? That's awesome. That looks great. Um, I feel like we could do with a little bit of more stamping. We could do text. Uh, let's see, what do I have? I have this Tim Holtz, I think it's a train ticket even. It's a New York, New York City train ticket. We'll just use that. Yeah, I think that'll work. And we'll just do some stamping, just a little bits here and there. Okay. So, let's grab a... Okay, yes, here, perhaps on this green, press it down, oh yes, I love, that looks great, actually, <laughs> that looks really cool, I'm really happy with that, um, perhaps a little bit up here on this part of the green, right, so. there. Yes, looks good, looks good. It's a little crooked, but that's okay. Let's uh, wipe off our stamp. And, hmm, I have a ticket and I have an arrow that I already have out from when we did our tickets. And then, um, see, it could match our collage sheet there. Let's do the ticket. Let's do the ticket. I've decided on the ticket. The ticket called my name, it said. Kyung. The ticket. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, let's do it here. So, yes, I loved that train image. I'm just a little wary of using it. I don't want to um, steal someone's work or get in trouble or anything like that. So um, I'll look into it a little bit more before I just print it off and use it. Okay, I think that's good. I think that is good, good. Okay, let's close our ink. 
Um, I'm thinking, yes, this one, right, is the one we decided on. Um, we could decoratively edge cut it. We could cut it with a decorative edge. If these scissors will work for me. I heard that cutting things with, um, oh man, these scissors are really dull. That's not good. Um, I heard that cutting things with tin foil can help sharpen things, but I've never had success with that. Um, I've never had success with that. Oh man, I'm even really strong arming it. It just really doesn't want to cut this cardstock. Well, that's not good. I'll have to order a pair of these. Oh, that aren't so, oh no, look, it ripped that one. Yeah, these are pretty bad, man. They are pretty bad. Just cut. It's acting like wet paper, even though it's not wet. You know, like, have you ever tried to cut wet paper? <laughs> That's how it's acting, even though it's not wet. Okay. Well, it is, it's all vintaged up and everything. That's good enough for me. Let's ink it with some walnut stain. Just around its corners and its edges, just pretty, um, just its edges. And then we'll glue it on there, and I think that's great. I think that looks good. That will be fine. Use my art glitter glue. Oh, don't. There we go. Okay. Stick this on here, maybe evenly, straight, somewhat straight, maybe, <laughs> perhaps. Ta-da! I'll make a piece of this. There. Okay, looks good, looks good. I really like it. Let's round the corners on it and um, perhaps maybe we'll sew it. Yes, we'll definitely want to sew it because it's kind of collage and I like to sew my collage things. I'll probably stitch twice around here and around the corners. Let's ink it first. So I was looking at Matthew's hair. <laughs> if any of you were like watching it in my one of my earlier videos, I was talking about cutting my husband's hair, and it was crooked. It was really crooked, and so I was I was looking at it yesterday, and it still looks crooked to me. Um, and I told I wish you would just let me shave it. You know, it <laughs> it grows back pretty quickly. Um, and uh, I was like, yeah, it's crooked. It's really not that you have a, a lopsided head. <laughs> Weird guy. It's like, just let me cut it. And he was like, no, it's fine. <laughs> like, okay. So he's running around with crooked hair, telling everyone it's not his hair, it's his head. <laughs> I suppose that's fun. I don't know. <laughs> okay. We're going to stitch around. Okay. All right. Yeah, just stitch around a round corner. You just lift it up and turn it a little bit. And go one stitch.
Sorry, I didn't mean to bump you there earlier. Oh, this one might be a little too sharp. Oh well. It's not too bad. Let's stitch around the train image, and I think I'll, we're gonna zigzag that one. I'm gonna try to get it so I can get it on both paper, right, on both the card and the one, the card that it's glued on. There we go. My first train journaling card, and I tell you what, I love it. I love it. Let's grab a pair of scissors and snip off. Snip off our little threads. All right, so there's one journaling card choo-choo with beautiful train tracks let's do another one um, let's do one of these instead from the far mirage kit let's see which one I like this one you could do two I like this one like this right because they go together like that um, I'm not sure though I like these two let's do these two We'll put them on like that, and so we'll have stuff in the background. Let's uh, let's use a little bit of this. All right? Just use littler pieces this time. A little piece of paper. Yeah, I'm using my Pioneer glue stick. Pioneer, right? Pioneer? Pioneer? Yes, Pioneer. Pioneer photo glue stick. It's my favorite glue stick. It's funny how we all have like favorite glues, right? We all have our favorite glue stick and our favorite, it's weird, our favorite scissors and <laughs> our favorite way, way we cut things. And oh goodness. Um, some of this I'm thinking oops oh, I'm sorry guys way to just bump ya there we go let's do this one Right with these like words. Oh, rip for me. You know you want to. It's I feel like um Tim Holtz collage paper is a lot more papery. It has less of a I guess napkin y feel, right? It's definitely more glassine feeling. Like a really, really thin glassine is how I would describe it. Um it's beautiful, I love it. I just find I have a hard time, and I bet if I used like the Tim Holtz, like his collage medium, <laughs> I bet that would work better. I bet. Isn't that how it is? Okay. So there's that. Let's use some of ours. Um, we'll tear this. Piece. 
so if we put one up here and one down here, right, we could, okay, let's put this one here, okay. That is that too far over? Oh well. Oh well, that's okay. Let's see. Have this. All oh, that got wet from my cleaning of my stamp. From this. I suppose we could try to put this on there. Why not? Why waste it? Just stick that on there like that. And then we'll stamp it and then we'll be fine. I think we'll call this one. Um, we'll put some numbers on it. All right, and we'll see how it looks with the Far Mirage images. I really like my train tracks. <laughs> uh, probably by the end of this, there'll be a whole kit probably out. Normally, that's how it is. I normally usually make my kits uh, because I need them when I'm making a journal. Okay. Oh, and it flew away. So, of course, we're not getting the most clear stamp, uh, clear of stamp, but that's because, right, we're using Distress Ink, which is totally okay. It's kind of what I wanted anyway. Otherwise, I would have just used my archival ink. That's so crooked. That's okay, though. It's just background. Let's just stamp off the rest of this. That's fine. Okay. We're up like this, right? And this one goes on like this. And this one goes on like this. And I love it. So we just need to ink it. I'm just going to go nuts with the ink, right? Because I want to, I want to really grunge these up. They're a little um, cream, which is fine, but I mean, it's the journal is pretty grungy, so we want we want it to grun be grungy. I'm gonna do it like this, I think. All right, let's grab our art glitter glue. This one first. So I ordered some train stamps yesterday. Dum dum dum. I just could not help myself. They should arrive tomorrow. <laughs> Yay, I'll have train stamps. Uh, what else? Oh, I also ordered um, the Tim Holtz field notes. Those like field note stamps. Oh, I had to get them on eBay. Um, I feel like they're going quick. Um, I don't think they're making them anymore. So I'm not sure, don't quote me on that, but um, I can't find them anywhere. So uh, I was finally, I saw them on eBay and I, you know, they weren't the cheapest. They weren't the most expensive either. They were reasonable. So I, I, I bought them. I didn't care. I was like, let's do it. All right. I'm going to stitch this and then we'll be right back. All right. So here we are. I've stitched around it and it's a little different, right? This one is squared. This one's rounded. Um, this one has like two images and they're from a different kit, but I love it and um, I think they'll look great. And what I think I'll do is because it's different, I'll ink this one in black instead of um, instead of the walnut. And I think that that will be great. And then that'll even add a little bit of um, an extra bit of a little bit of a difference. Little bit of a difference. Ta-da! Yay! And then this is 
like coming off a little bit. This end of this. There we go. Ta-da, journal cards. I love them. So yeah, I'll make more so that we have journal cards we can place throughout the journal. Um, you know, and they'll all be kind of this style. I'll do um, some collaging and stamping in the background, put our images on there. So great. Anyway, thank you guys. I had fun. Um, I hope you guys have a good day and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.